Shalom, shalom, Yasharala, shalom. All right. <clears throat> this brother had a highly spiritual dream. Okay. And when you look in the title and even the comments and even the video under it, there's a lot going on right here in this picture. Okay. Now, this brother, um, his video is called Vision Elder Apostle Tahar saying his goodbyes. Okay. Now, I have a lot of dreams. Okay. Now, when, when this brother uh, had this dream, this kind of shook me to the core. Because I feel as though I never do enough. I feel as though I never do enough. Okay. And everybody know I've been talking for the past few weeks. Saying I'm going to go get me some wheels. I'm working on trying to get me some wheels and, and find the nearest camp. I, I think the nearest camp is the other one in... Um, I'm not going to say where, but it's it's not too far from me. Okay? But, um... And then the, the comment you see is, our final exam is almost here. Okay? And then on the bottom, you got a Canadian proper video where it say, you're on your own when SHTF. That's true. Okay? That's why I say there's a lot right here in this picture. Okay? Two-thirds, the heathen, okay? Jake's just lollygagging, okay? They want their own, okay? And even though I believe, you know, some days I feel as though shit, I'm not, like I said, I never do enough, okay? And I feel as though that I do enough to make it, okay? Did I, um, did I edify enough, okay? Because I've been having many dreams about this thing getting ready to shut down. Okay. And this reminded me that I just had a dream two weeks ago. Uh, last train uh, to New Jerusalem. Okay. I barely made it. Okay. And then I had that dream. Um, Apostle Tahar is close to midnight. And that was in the beginning of 2022. I think right before 2022 came in, uh, in a, a play. Okay. And ever since then, I, my spirit just, just like an a, a, a alarm bell been going off in my spirit. Okay. So yeah, let's go and get into this. Barakatha Hawa, Barakatha Hawa Sha, Barakatha Hawa, Barakatha Hawa Sha, Barakatha Hawa, Barakatha Hawa Sha. Call her law, Yahawa, Bashim, Yahweh Sha. Hashem, Rakakadash. I like to give a shout out and salute to all the brothers across the four corners of the earth trying to preach this truth and say, elect. Hopefully, you and me is one of them. I like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Jamas. I believe those are the prophets sent forth to wake us up in these last seconds. Okay? And at the water to the Akim and the Aqua after this here listening um, with me. Okay? You could be somewhere else. Okay, so Shalom. Okay, so yeah, let's go and get into this. Okay, the brother said that they, I'm, I'm gonna put his link in the description box, right? But this was highly, highly spiritual. The brother said that, um, they was um, in the field, right? And he was letting them know that um, it was over, but it was done with. Now, when I had that dream, when it was close to midnight, he pretty much did the same thing, except we was in a building. Okay? And I seen Jake's leaving on platforms. It was like a glass that was separating all of them. And he gave me, like, a plate of food. He was like, here, here, go plate. Because we had so much food. That, and the food... Um, Symbolize. I mean, yeah, it was all. It also was food, but in the dream, it, sim, it symbolized, um, you know, this truth. Okay, mm -hmm. the rest of the world was just in darkness. Okay, it, it was just, yeah, it was just real ominous outside, and you didn't want to be outside. And I seen Jake's behind, like some type of glass, and they was on platforms ready to leave. Okay, and I seen, um, I specifically. Seeing an elder from Dallas. Now, what was wild about that is that, 
a long time ago when I used to live in Dallas, right? And I um I guess because of my work schedule, I never uh went down to the camp, but I dreamed that they all left. An angel came and, and took the whole camp, told them they can't take nothing. Okay, when you go home, tell your family, your iPhones, your Chrysler 300, none of that, all they got to stay. Okay. And they was just happy and they left. But the one part of the dream I really didn't talk about in that dream, um, Apostle Hart said no one else can um, join GMS because of a uh, situation that happened with a Jake. Okay, I think uh, the Jake did something to his family. I don't remember exactly, you know, and I actually seen that in a dream. Okay, and I never even really talked about it. But when this Jake said he had this dream, it just shook me to the core. Okay, but yeah, enough of me talking. Let me get a scripture. Ecclesiastes 43, verse 26. By him, the end of them have prosperous success. And by his word, all things consist. We may speak much and yet come short. Wherein for in some, he is all. Yeah, we, hey, I mean, we, we speaking and, and we're um, speaking the most high words, but we can't really sum, sum him up in um, words, right? He's beyond um, all comprehension, right? So I always feel short. I always feel like I ain't never done enough. That's why I always try to stay humble. That's why I don't, I don't, I tell Jake straight up, I'm, I'm on a low level. I'm new to all this. Okay, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to try to big myself up. At the end of the day, I just want to be saved. And if it means I got to tell somebody else something, that's just what it is. By, by spreading what little gospel I know, right? Let's keep going. Please ask us 43 verse 28. How shall we be able to magnify him? For he is great above all his works. Exactly. How can we ever do enough for the most high? We can't. Okay. That's why it's good to just be humble. Okay. And hope that he had mercy on us. And um his son, um, you know, and then and during that dot that time and that day, okay, when he come like a thief in the night, okay, he had mercy on us. The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous is his power. Okay. Yeah, we see everything going down. Okay, um, Ukraine is bombing Russia now. Okay, now allegedly Joe Biden said that um, he's open to talks for a cease, a ceasefire, but and peace talks. But what do I say? Peace and safety, then sudden destruction. We see the MOTB. Okay, we see everything happen at the same time. Okay, all the prophecies are, 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 are speeding up and happening simul simultaneously, almost. Okay. So, yeah, I feel as though I don't know if I did enough, okay? When you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can, for even yet will he far exceed, and when you exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not worried, for you can never go far enough. Call her lawyer, I hope I should be on with you. And I feel in my spirit, that we closer to the end than we think than a lot of people realize because his name is being magnified. All you're hearing about is Hebrew Israelites all across the planet now. Okay? I was Jason Jason Whitlock, he, he just had passed the dial when um all them on the show. And they going off. Okay. But yeah, they gonna be sitting there on that damn show, still trying to um save Dr. E. When these missiles are raining in, okay? Or when this man mandates the MOTB, okay? Let's keep going. And I don't know if uh, all the Jakes been keeping up with the news, but um, they, um, in one of these small towns, where these, um, I think the Keystone Pipeline, where it got hit, Double 7 said that, um, they suspended all the businesses' licenses over there, okay? It's like they're doing test run at the test run, okay? And it's like hey, the, the most high is putting a spurt on these people, okay? Whereas though, 
it's, it's almost like they self-destructing themselves. Okay, almost like that scene in Terminator where he lowered himself down into the fire. Or like that lava pit. That molten lava, or was it molten metal? It seemed like this man is doing the same thing, okay? He's self-destructing. All his um all his decisions that he's making is awkward. Satanism in schools, okay? They're arguing um over um the Bible and um these alphabet people. It's like every everything is getting more and more confused. And if you don't have the scriptures, and if uh, men didn't teach it to you properly, you can get caught up in all that confusion, okay? Why the destruction is coming, all right? So, yeah, like I said, this dream, it kind of shook me to the core because, hey, I, 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 I've been feeling it. I've been feeling as though things are getting ready to shut down, okay? And I just did a video several days ago. While I was talking to a dude right on my page. And he said he couldn't find the video that I was talking to him about. Right on my page. But the video was right there. So yeah, this famine is sitting in and hey. The most high he 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 get ready, he get ready to pull a curtain. He get ready to close the curtains. Okay. So yeah. Stay prayed up. Hopefully we all did enough. You know, I believe, um, you know, the apostles and um, the elders and those of um, the likewise doctrine. You know, I, I believe you brothers did enough. OK, because like I said, every time I had a dream, I always I always came in on the 11th hour. OK. So, yeah, I'm going to get a scripture and shut it down. Stay prayed up, Yasharala. Hey, stay on your watchtower, okay? Stay on your watchtower. Because, hey, I think that ain't going to come sooner than we think it is. All right? And, hey, don't be surprised if something happened in between Christmas and New Year's. Eh, I just got a feeling about that. I could be wrong, but I I, I don't know. I, I got, you know, the, the, the most high, he, he's the master of shock value. Don't be surprised if you see something happen. Um, around Christmas or around New Year's. All right. Get a description, shut it down. All right, this first Chronicles 17, verse 23. Therefore, now, Lord, let the thing that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house be established forever, and do as thou hast said. Because, hey, you, you literally witnessing the house of David being rebuilt. OK. And like I said, I, I could see how um, King Marshall would be King David. OK, he was he was one of the uh, elders, you know. To apostle to her and the rest of the apostles, I don't even think I was born in, you know, but that's not important. You know, what is important is that hey, I, I believe that, that they the house of David from a um, hey, from from what I've been seeing and from what that angel told me, you know. When I used to camp hop, okay? Let's keep going. First Chronicles 17, verse 24. Let it even be established that thy name may be magnified forever, saying, The Lord of hosts is the God of Israel, even a God to Israel, and let the house of David, thy servant, be established before thee. For thou, O my God, hast told thy servant that thou wilt build him in a house. Therefore thy servant hath found in his heart to pray before thee. And now, Lord, thy our God, and has promised this goodness unto thy servant. Now, therefore, let it please thee to bless the house of thy servant, that it may be before thee forever. For thou blessed, O Lord, and it shall be blessed forever. Shalom, Yasharala. I'll see you again real soon. Stay prayed up. Hopefully, I'll see you in the kingdom. Shalom.